I finally received parts for the Yabar diesel engine, so let's have a look what's inside this box. Before I continue with this unboxing, I want to thank today's sponsor, Friday Parts, but more on them later in this video. All the parts that you can see on this table were inside of that box and now I'll give you guys an overview on everything. So in this box we have a full gasket and seal kit and on the back side there is a head gasket. This will be a complete set for the Yanmar 3 TNV 82A engine. Now down below there is a set of main bearings and also a set of connecting rod bearings. Up above we also have three bearings for the camshaft. We have one bearing insert for the idler gear that was damaged. I shared that in my previous video. If you haven't seen that yet, click the link up above. And over here, we also have a set of thrust washers for the crankshaft. Further off to the left, we have valve guides. This is for the cylinder head. We have a set of valve seats. And as you can see, these smaller ones are for the exhaust valves and the bigger ones are for the intake. Right here, I have two brand new valves. They are already cut. And all I have to do is send this off to the machine shop they will insert the new valve seats, and then later on they will match them to the new valves. Further down to the left, there's also three sets of piston rings, and each piston ring set will come with three rings. That is one oil ring and two compression rings, and these will be inserted into this piston. This right here has exactly three grooves, one, two, and three, and this piston looks identical to my old one. With this piston right here, we also have three brand new wrist pins, and snap rings to hold the wrist pins inside of the piston. Now, the next thing I have on this table is a liner. I thought I could get oversized pistons, but that's not the case. I will go back to original and I will be using liners. So what that means is this liner will be inserted into the engine block and it will be bored out to accommodate this original size piston. The piston and the liner also came in sets of three. So right here we have three liner boxes and three piston boxes. From the right side of the table, all the way up until this point, you will see brand new parts from Friday Parts. These parts are in great condition and I'm really happy with the quality. As you guys might already know, I dealt with Friday Parts in the past. I ordered a full rebuild kit from them for the Yanmar 3TN75RJ engine, which was then placed in the John Deere 55. I was super satisfied with the quality and that tractor is still running until today. So I can only say good things about their parts and about their rebuild kits. If you guys are interested in a rebuild kit, just like the one you see right here on the table, click the link down in the description where you'll be redirected to Friday Parts. Friday parts has a bunch of categories to browse through if you're looking for electrical parts engine parts hydraulic parts seal kits excavator parts or even transmission parts they have it all friday parts offers brand new parts like the rebuild kit you can see down below but they also are getting into the used parts market and i was really lucky because i was looking for an oil pan extension for the yamar 310 v82a engine uh, the one i had was probably broken off in the past and the mating surface to the engine block was just chewed up by the previous mechanic so I couldn't really reuse it or I'd have to spend a lot of money to actually make that work again. So if you guys are in the market for any new or used parts, check them out. Send them an email if you guys have any questions, they'll get back to you within probably 24 to 48 hours. That's really quick in my opinion. And hopefully you'll get a package in your mailbox very soon with brand new parts that will suit your needs. In a previous video, I diagnosed this engine and I came to the conclusion that it does need a rebuild. Not all the parts would have to be replaced, but it's basically 80% of the engine. So over here, I have brand new parts on the table and I'll compare them to the used parts that were in the engine before. So on this side of the table, I have used and new parts. And the reason why I'm going to be replacing the main bearings is because they are scored, as you can see, but they also have uneven wear, which I'm not really happy with. But over here on this main bearing, you also see some little metal that's already embedded into the main bearing. And I'm not really happy with that. So that's why the main bearings will be replaced. And those right there are brand new ones. We have connecting rod bearings right here, which are brand new. And the connecting rod is over there because it's still hooked up to the piston, but I'll get to that in just a second. Now over here, I also have an idler gear bearing insert. And as you can see, the new one is in pristine condition. And I'm really lucky Friday Parts was able to find this because I couldn't find it anywhere online. Now over here, the idler gear itself still has the main bearing installed and it's very damaged. And that's another reason why it will be replaced. Now we're gonna go up here and why am I replacing the gaskets and the seals? Well, once you take them apart, you don't really want to put them back together. And even if you do take them apart, 
most of the paper gaskets just tend to uh, get damaged. So that's why I'm replacing all the gaskets and seals throughout the engine. Over here, we also have brand new thrust washers and this is for the crankshaft. Uh, after a thousand hours, the other ones are probably a little bit worn, but I will be replacing them. Now over here on the camshaft, we also have three brand new bearing inserts. These will be replaced because the one inside of the block is actually damaged. I'm not sure I have to replace all three, but I will be replacing one for sure, which is closest to the timing gears. Now over here, you will see the brand new exhaust valve seats. So this right here, as you can see, the surface is much wider than the one that's installed right there. I'm not sure if you guys will see that, but that surface right there is much wider than the one that's installed. That's another reason why I'm going to be replacing all three exhaust and intake valve seats. The only way I can share this with you guys is if I put the camera on my tripod. Now over here, this is a brand new valve. You will see one even surface from the cast part all the way to the edge. That is one angle. I'm not sure exactly what angle, but there's also a certain amount of material from this surface all the way to the edge of the angle. Now over here, you will see there's a less material. I hope you guys will notice on the right, the used valve, and on the left, the brand new valve. You will see more material off to the left, less material off to the right. But not only that, we also have the surface of the valves that you will notice a big difference on. This one has heavy wear on it. So right here, from this point to that point right there, that is actually a groove basically around the valve and on the new one it is one surface so that's the reason why i'm going to be replacing these valves and since these were moving up and down or at least the old one uh, there's a little bit of wear on the valve stem itself and that's another reason why i will be replacing the valve guides these right here are six valve guides three of them are for the exhaust and three of them are for the intake valves so I will be replacing the valve guides on the opposite side of this cylinder head. Enough talk about the valves, now let's move on to the pistons. Over here, the pistons are scored, and these are probably even more scored than the John Deere 55 pistons. Uh, you will see that right there. It's really, really rough, especially here on the bottom. So those piston skirts are done, and right here we have brand new pistons, and this is how the piston looks like. It's in pristine condition, so I'm really happy with these pistons right here. Brand new piston rings and wrist pins will be installed onto this piston. And since this is the original size, I have to bore out the engine block and insert a sleeve. So this will go to the machine shop. It will be bored out to accommodate the original size piston. That's why I got three sleeves within this engine kit, but this is only one of them. And now over here, there is exactly one more part that I'm going to discuss, and that is the used part that Friday Parts sent me. As you can see, it is the exact same oil pan extension and I'm really happy with the condition of it. Even though it has silicone around the perimeter, I'm really satisfied with the quality. Around the perimeter, or at least on the gasket surface, there are no marks from any screwdrivers. So what that means is they removed this in a proper manner and they didn't damage the surface on this side or on the bottom side. Now, when we look at the old one and why I need to replace this one is because somebody broke it in the past right here as a weld goes from this bore all the way down to this bore. Somebody welded that up and I'm not even sure if that weld is any good. And then what they did to clean up the weld afterwards, they used a power tool to actually flatten this out. And in doing that, they made a bow right here. So what that means is they'd have to use more silicone or even a thicker gasket to seal this off. And I'm not sure that's the case. If I'd have to go ahead and fix this, I'd probably have to uh, grind everything down in this area or even use a Dremel, which would take really long. I'd have to weld that up or get somebody to weld that up. And then I'd have to get a machinist to machine this surface down to make it very flat again to go up against the engine block. So just based off of that one part, I think I saved myself a lot of time. Friday parts came through with that used part and it fits perfectly. Now with all the other new parts within this engine rebuild kit, I'm really satisfied with everything. So now I'm gonna sort through some of these parts. I'm gonna get everything ready and put it inside of a box and bring it to the machine shop. Once the machine shop does their magic, it'll be back here and I'll be ready for an assembly video. I'm not exactly sure how quick they can turn this over and I'm not gonna rush anybody. If they already have work, 
I'll let them do their work. And if this takes a little bit longer, I really don't care. I just want some good work done on this engine block. So this engine will last for many more years. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button down below. If you guys have any questions about anything I discussed in this video, drop a comment down below and I'll try and reply as soon as I can. There are some very technical questions I've been receiving in the past and I really enjoy them. So keep your comments coming. But right now I'm gonna head out and I'll see you guys in an upcoming video.